Hello everyone, this is Daniel Smele again with another video of Q3D and today we're going to show you how to plot field. This is easily done in HFSS, Maxwell and other software but once you get it, you'll see this error. So today we're going to show you how to overcome that and plot the field in the area such as this uh, surface. And as you know, uh, we are a ANSYS uh, channel, a live channel partner. We've been the American channel partner of the year for three years, 15, 18, and 21. And we have expertise in a structure, thermal fluid, electromagnetics, optics, and we can help you with the software or we can uh, help you as a consultant. Please feel free to reach to us if you have any question. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how the plot field on a point, on a line, and on a surface, and I'll show you the result, which is the contour. So this is the earth that I showed you, and if you're not very familiar with other application, let me just show you an example. Here is a model in HFSS, and as you can see, I can choose a plane here. I can choose them from the planes here, or I can make my own sheets. And when I do that, and I want to uh, plot, for instance, the edge field, I come here, choose edge field, mag, and then plot, and done with it. It'll show it for us. However, when you want to do the same thing in Q3D, you'll get an error. Uh, and I'll show you that in a second. The reason is that the Q3D is uh, different uh, from uh, other software. If you want to choose uh, uh, an object or a sheet or plane and uh, plot the fields in them, that object has to be part of the model. So if I choose this uh, L-shape object and I ask for mag, mag H, it'll sh plot it as you can see. But if I chose another thing that is not part of these uh, objects, this model, it'll give an error. So what is the workaround for this? That's what I'm going to show you today. So in order to do that, we need to define a point and a line. So I'll choose a line. Let's assume we like to have the field from this point upward up to here. We like to get the uh, field over here. So this line is chosen along uh, the z-axis as you can uh, see here. Next I, I'll go to EM field, this is the trick part. And then I choose insert EM field setup, line. And I'll choose the line I'm interested in. Right now it's only one option because I only have one line. But if there's more than that, please choose whatever you want. And I set the number of points here, I want to be 5 points. And here it will show you those numbers. Once I click here, pay attention to the points that will appear here. So when I go on line one, I see the points here. They're so small, I don't know if you can see them. These yellow dots here. So we have five points here. If you want more uh, resolution, feel free to add more. So once you do that, you'll go on the result, right click choose to create EM field. Usually we choose uh, the other report but we need to choose this one. And then for instance data table and you can choose E field or H field. For instance I choose H field here. And make sure this is line one because uh, again if it was more you would see more here. And pay attention that this is normalized distance. Uh, you can change this if you want but for now we put it on normalize and you report. So as you can see, these are the edge ampere meter at point zero and, and at point one, and uh, other numbers between them. So in other words, if you want to have it at a point, you need to find a line where the beginning of that line or end of that line lands exactly on the point that you're interested. And then once you do this, you'll come here and you read your result. Now that we're done with that, we'll move to surface. 
So I assume at this point I'd like to have a surface. The first step is to create a coordinate system. I'll create a coordinate system here and I name it. I name it plot coordinate system and now I create a rectangle. So here I choose my uh, plot coordinate system. I'll say for instance uh, 30 millimeter by 50 and I choose number of uh, samples 21 and uh, 41. And as you can see this is the uh, plane here. Next, same as before, if you'll uh, it choose the and I choose the rectangle contour plot. As you can see, it's still on line one. And now pay attention to this part. When I change rectangle, it goes to U and V. And then choose uh, edge field and plot the report. So as you can see, now it's plotted. Uh, one thing we can do is that make this uh, to have a better visibility. Make uh, this contour like a tone. And here we have it. These are the range that we put, as you can see, uh, 15 and uh, 25. If we go back to uh, fill 30 and uh, 50, it's the range. So that's where these numbers are, come from. But the thing is, we want to see this on the uh, geometry, so... So we choose... Show in modeler window. And now, when we go back to the bear files, it is here, as you can see. So this way you're able to the plot and uh, if you want to have uh, the e field somewhere else uh, higher than here up in the air just need to move your coordinate system. So for instance here let's say we want to move it up uh, and look at it at where the height is uh, 15 millimeter so uh, 15 millimeter here the coordinate system went up and it start doing the calculation and you'll see that this contour will change uh, i hope you like this video if you have any question please feel free to contact us